Hi, my name is Joy McKnight. I'm Transaction Banking and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm here with Jennifer Basuge, who is the Head of Global Transaction Services, EMEA, at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Thanks so much for joining us, Jennifer. Uh, so as, uh, as Eurofinance winds down in Copenhagen, what would you say were the hot topics at the event? Well, surprisingly enough, payments and receipts. Uh, I know it seems like an old topic, but there's so much happening in these spaces that uh, it's it's really an exciting time. In the payment space, I think there's a lot of discussion around the disruptive technology and what's happening in the fintech space and how does the traditional role of banks in the payment space change? How do we partner together on behalf of our clients? And in the receivable space, I don't think I was in a single meeting where uh, virtual account management didn't come up. And so really talking about with the advent of SEPA, how do you combine that with virtual account management to uh, get to the holy grail of straight through receivables? So those were big topics. And what would you say are the biggest pain points or challenges for corporates operating to, in today's environment? Well, certainly in the EMEA region, there's quite a few. So I would say just to name three of the top ones, it's certainly the economic volatility of the region. I think they're really struggling with that and around how they forecast and how they uh, they do risk mitigation for their businesses. Um, on the uh, liquidity side, it's really been around the negative interest rates or the very, very low interest rate environment. And so how do they manage through that? And then I think the third one is really uh, keeping up with technology. There's so much happening in this space, limited budgets, um, are they doing enough? What do they need to do to keep up with it? And what do you think that the transaction banks, the relationship banks, what can they do to support their clients more? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. I think as you look at a lot of the feedback from the studies that you see, um, Greenwich and so forth, um, and what we're hearing from our clients is they want to hear more from their banks. They don't want to hear about products. What they want is solutions. They want advice. They want a strategic partner. They're tackling through all these challenges that we just referred to, and they really want the banks who have exposure to so many of their peers in their various industries and really get help from us around how we can provide advice and help them navigate these challenging times. Uh, and you touched on a little bit in terms of fintech um, and all the changes that are happening. How can the incumbent banks really stay relevant in today's environment and then also to you know future-proof future their business going forward? Yeah. Well, I think the key is to keep the client at the center of everything that you do and to not look at these emerging technologies as threats, um, but as opportunities to collaborate and come up with some really interesting, innovative ways that we can solve problems for our clients. And that's certainly what we're doing. If we look at some of the work that we're doing with Earthport, uh, some of the work in the blockchain area, and companies like Ripple, I think it's an exciting time. So I think it's all about engagement. 